Cooper. We meet again. Constable Neela, thanks for not ratting me out back at the ball. Oh, I should be thanking you. The look on Carmelita's face was priceless. She took it hard, huh? No one likes to have their affections played with. I know I certainly don't. Look, Neela, as soon as this India job is over, why don't you and I go out on the town? We'll dance through Bollywood and eat curry all night long. I'll keep it in mind, but first the task at hand. I've learned of a secret entrance leading to half of the clockwork heart. Legally, I can't enter the premises without a warrant. But now a thief like you... A thief like me can go wherever he pleases. I read you. Don't fall behind while I lead you to the entrance. This place is thick with guards, and standing still can be lethal. I hear that, sister. Remember, if push comes to shove, I never showed you this door. And... And? And we're on for that date in Bollywood. There it is, just like Neela said. In order to lower the clockwork heart, you'll need access to that control box. But it's locked down tight. Oh, I'm sure these guards won't mind if I borrow their keys.
According to Rajat's blueprints, you're near the spice grinding facility. However, the passage is blocked by those laser fences. Hmm. Looks like they're using TNT to create these catacombs. Maybe I can borrow some to destroy the fences. You're the demolitions expert. How am I supposed to use that stuff? Oh, it's simple. Just jump in, walk the barrel to your target, jump out, and get clear of the blast radius. But be careful around floor lasers, Sly. The TNT barrels won't work on them. Attention guards! Make sure all laser fences are operational to protect the spice grinder. within visual range of the spice grinder. What's next? Rajat won't come out of hiding while spice is still being manufactured. If we destroy the grinder, he'll be out of business and have no reason to stick around the temple. Great. We do the world a favor and Rajan's forced out into the open. Start by getting a hold of that TNT down there. It's worth mentioning that guards won't be able to detect you if you stay still while in the TNT barrel. Nice. An explosive disguise. Place the explosive near that grinding wheel, and it'll be blown to bits. Make sure to get the TNT barrel into that basin filled with spice dust.
Sean's holed up in his temple. Got any ideas to force him out of hiding? My research indicates that tigers have an aversion to water. By destroying that dam, the temple will be filled with a runoff. Flooding him out, huh? Good plan. But I don't think your bombs are strong enough to do the job. You're correct. Fortunately, while monitoring the bug in Rajan's office, I overheard that a new autopilot attack helicopter had just arrived. It's sitting inside this truck. Stay sharp. That dam is sure to be well protected. Partial flooding didn't work, so it's time to go the distance. Blowing up the temple's elephant mouth should turn this grotto into a swimming pool. I'll cover Murray from the chopper's gun turret while he pries the mouth open. Once that's done, Sly will need to walk the Cherry Bomb 500 into the throat. Then get to high ground as fast as you can. Rajan is sure to show up and be extra angry. Jump him, snag his half of the clockwork heart, and we're out of here. provide covering fire while you try to pry open the elephant's mouth for Sly. Check. Clear 
out those guards before you take a crack at opening them out. <laughs> Nice work. Now put those muscles to the test and pry that thing open. Alert! Gabo Basan under assault. Put down this attack! Gabzooks! Rajan is raining down a bunch of hunter seeker bombs on Murray. He'll never be able to get that mouth open unless I destroy all of them. <laughs> triumphs again! The mouth is open! You're all clear to bring in the Cherry Bomb 500! destroy my hard-won empire. This place is mine. Here I am king. Come, face me, Cooper. With Clockwork's black heart, I will show you true power. You are nothing. Come face the might of Rajan, lord of these hills. Boy, when we try to tick someone off, we really do the job. Yes. You do seem to have quite a talent for it. Constable Mila, slumming it with the thieves again? That man is an illegal spice trader. He should be brought to justice. All I'm after is the clockwork part. You help me take him down, and the bust is all yours. Just try to keep up. Now! 
Sorry. What are you doing? Oh, fly! I'm coming, buddy! This is it. This is the Cooper gang I've heard so much about and feared these long hours. The Murray will renew your fear. Who's the Murray? All I see is a fat, pathetic weakling. I might be big and not as smart as the other guys, but one thing I'm not is weak. <laughs> Defend your lord. Fat, pathetic, weakly. this fool. the clockwork heart safe and sound. Oh, happy day. What? Neela? Throw down a ladder. Sly's hurt real bad. Can you hear me? I said Sly's hurt. There they are, Contessa. Just as I promised. 
The Cooper gang and Rajan all incapacitated. Excellent police work, Constable Mila. Carmelita's never been able to catch the Cooper gang. Yet you capture them in just a few short weeks. Well, I never... Really, Carmelita. Accept your defeat gracefully. Actually, Contessa, there's a good reason Inspector Fox never caught the Cooper gang. She's been in league with them the whole time. Liar! Prove it! This is a photo of Carmelita dancing with Sly Cooper on the night the clockwork wings were stolen. But I didn't know I was dancing with Cooper. You two certainly seem very familiar in this picture. Men, place Inspector Fox under arrest. I'll get you, Neela. Don't think I won't. Such a pity when an officer falls from the light. Yes, indeed. I can't believe it! That double-crossing, cockney liar! <laughs> Though statistically improbable, I had to face the facts. Neela had betrayed us, my teammates were captured, and I was all alone. While intellectually inferior, Sly and Murray had always been a rich source of sociological interest. The long walk out of the jungle gave me time to reflect, and with each passing step, my sense of isolation grew. Shockingly, my comrade's absence had a profound emotional effect on me. This was it. This was the true test of friendship. Upon reaching the van, my resolve was hardened. I had to save my friends. But first things first, I had to learn how to drive a stick shift. <laughs> <laughs> 